Hi, this is a quick video showing how to design with end phase inverters inside of PVCAT. So I've set up a drawing here where I have some modules on my roof. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the electrical layout tab and I'm going to select end phase as my inverter and then I'm going to select the IQ uh, plus. Now for end phase we have a concept of branches. Branch is several microinverters in series. Well, technically in parallel on, on an end phase end gauge cable. So you see here it says strings. Imagine this is branches. I'm going to insert one of these inverters into my drawing. And basically what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to insert one inverter for every branch circuit. And that one inverter is going to, is going to stand in for all the microinverters and all the modules in that branch. So if I go to my summary tab, I can see I have 42 modules. So we might as well do uh, three even strings of 14. Uh, three even branches of 14. So I'm going to put three end phase inverters because I have three branches. I'm then going to set the string size here to be 14. Custom string size, yes. And then I hit string manual, F for fence, and I'm going to draw, and as I draw, it will string it according to my line. Now I have three uh, even branches, in this case, of 14 modules and 14 microinverters per branch. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to associate each branch with the microinverter in my drawing. So I'm going to go source circuit conductor um, from here to here. Source circuit conductor here. I always ask you to pick an alignment point wires go through before going to the uh, microinverter. So now I have three branches, three microinverters. I'm going to put in an AC panel that will be used to combine the three microinverter circuits together. And then I'm going to say uh, AC conductor. So AC conductor, pick a microinverter, select the AC panel, and it'll put in the conductor run. Same one for this one. So once I've set that up, um, I can save my drawing before I can generate a single line. I go to the PVCAD ribbon, I hit the single line diagram button, wait for it, and here's my single line that gets automatically generated. Now, by default, it, it's thinking string inverters, so it's going to put in, you know, one string of 14 series modules, which isn't accurate. You need to get the end phase block, so all our blocks have multiple visibility states, if you don't have this block that contains end phase, just um, request it from us, we'll send it to you. I'm going to go here and change the visibility state to show end phase. And now you can see here, I have a branch of 14 series connected microinverters, so here's my module to my microinverter. It calls out the end phase Q cable, so I'm just going to change all of these to be end phase, end phase. Now this inverter doesn't exist, I'm just going to delete it and have my uh, end phase setups go directly into this combining panel where they're all combined into one circuit. And then if I double click here, I can get the attributes for this block. If I have 15 amp breakers, the output breaker actually has to be a 45 amp breaker. And you know, if I have a meter, I can leave it. If I don't, I can get rid of the meter. If I want to have a disconnect switch, I can add it in here. I can also do line side, load side versions of my tie-in panel. And there you go, here's my single line uh, showing end phase microinverters.